All right, we're live. Say hello. Hi, Alex. Jules, well, thank you so much for having me. Welcome to Aquilina. You. Thank you for having me. I love welcome it Welcome to the world's finest residences. It, it is the world's finest residence. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Alex Vidal. I am president of Related ISG International Realty and host of the show you're watching today, episode number 65 of The Closer Club. And if you can hear all the background noise behind us, I'm not sure we're trying a, a new microphone today with a, a lapel mic given to me by my friend Daryl Davis. We are standing next to the construction site of uh, the, the estates at Aqualina. We are behind filming uh, the res the hotel of Aqualina uh, with one of the most, and today we're sitting with one of the most prominent developers in the country, Mr. Jules Trump, uh, who is the uh, developer not only for the estates and the mansions at Aqualina, but the resort at Aqualina and Williams Island as well. Jules, thank you so much for having me. Great to be with you, I really Alex. appreciate it. And I really appreciate your program, and I think it does a lot for the community, so uh, it's a pleasure to be with you. Thank you, my friend. And I will tell you guys, I spent about 30 minutes on the phone with Jules last Friday, and I remember hanging up that phone call and, and telling my wife, oh my God, I had one of the most invigorating, energetic phone calls uh, that I've ever had with one of the guests prior to the show. Um, and as I told you as we were walking down here, only great things everybody said about you. So thank you for taking thank the time. You. Thank you. It's very nice to hear. So let's get started. Jules, what's crazy about this is, so you told me you're 75 years old. You told me that on the way down. I was shocked. I thought you were much younger. Your energy definitely is a lot higher. But you started in the retail world yes. at just seven years old. Yes. Uh, and now you've become one of the most prominent developers of luxury properties in the, in the United States and in the country. Tell us a little bit about your, your background. Well, we're, we're, my brother and I, my brother Eddie and I grew up in the retail business. Our parents had a retail store in South Africa and that was basically our beginning. And uh, from a very early age, it was a family business. We would work the store and uh, you learn a lot in the retail business. Sure. You learn about, most of all, you learn to deliver what the customer wants because the retail business is a business where if you don't do it right, you go out of business. So you learn, you've got to serve the customer understand the customer needs and then service them extremely well you know we learned in the retail business you have to have repeat customers right. and the only way to get repeat customers alex is to have raving fans oh, you know it. we 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 believe in the raving fan theory that our customer our best recommendation is from another customer and this has proven so valuable to us in fact, you know, we've got some quite remarkable statistics. 70% of the business we do, for instance, at the estates, and it was the case with the mansions as well, 70% of the business we do is with people who have some experience with one of our prior developments, either be it Williams Island or be it the ma uh, uh, people who lived in Aquilina or who dine frequently at Il Molino in Aquilina. So we find that as a huge source of business for us because people have experienced what we have to offer. They know what we, how we deliver and they appreciate it. I will tell you from our phone call, when he mentioned raving fans, I almost fell out of my chair because you don't hear a lot of people talking about raving fans, but it's actually, and we shared this on the phone, it's one of the core philosophies of our, of our brokerage as That's well. Excellent. How did you transition from retail into real estate development? Well, getting into the retail, uh, the, getting into the real estate was our first entry in Florida was with uh, Williams Island. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we, we took the, we, we love South Florida. We think it has so much to offer. But what we felt we could distinguish ourselves from other developments by providing truly great customer service and really focusing on what the customer needs, researching in depth what the customer sure. needs and delivering that. And I believe we did it at the time quite well at Williams Island. And then we certainly did it in a super well way at uh, Aquilina. But we believe that it's always work in progress. You always have to be learning from your customers. That's why we live in our developments. We wanna be the first to hear if there's a problem okay. and so that we can deal with it. But we also want to be the first to hear customers' ideas of innovation and so on, and what the customer needs are. And we believe it's the only way to really get to understand what the customer is looking for. That's right. You've got to live it, 
and you've got to eat your own cooking. That's right. And uh, like this is a very important element for us. Sure. What I love about that is when you, when you look at the, the raving fans and, and the customer service aspect, you're only as good as your reputation. Correct. And whether the brand is Aqualina or another brand, or if you decide to develop something else that's not named Aqualina, your reputation always goes along Correct. with it, no matter what, that, what that development may be. Absolutely. Let's talk a little bit about the access that you have to the ultra high net worth individuals. I mean, you pull up into the parking lot here at Aqualina, it's, it's the who's who of cars, right? Yes. Uh, we, by, by the way, we have the largest collection of Rolls Royces anywhere in the country, maybe anywhere in the world. But the largest collection of Rolls Royces, so it's uh, and really I, and, I, and I pull up in my sight. in my Ford Raptor pickup truck, which is a great pickup truck, but not a Rolls Royce. What are these the, the ultra high net worth individuals that you have access to? And we're going to get into what are they what are they looking for in their properties? But what what are they talking about South Florida? What's bringing them? I mean, they can buy anywhere in the world, right? Why are they buying South Florida in particular, and, and in particular Sunny Isles? Well, I think it's, it's, it's more a case of, you know, they're, they're buying based on the brand. You know, they, the, the people are familiar with the brand and, uh, you know, this is what's drawing them. I mean, Sunny Isles is very nice, uh, Miami is wonderful, but uh, what's, what's drawing them is the brand, you know. And, you know, we have 12 acres here, 12 and a half acres, so it's, uh, it's a large property. Uh, you know, other, other people might have put instead of where we've got four or five hundred total condos on this 1200 acres others could have uh, several thousand sure. and you know we we have specially built it as an estate where people there's lots of space where we integrate everything into the ocean yeah you know from any point in in aquilina alex if you walk around yeah. you'll get a sense of the beach and the ocean and that's you know where we're sitting this is typical sitting on yeah. a green lawn with the beach palm behind trees, us. Water the beach behind you and yeah. uh, perhaps the rain coming in a few minutes yeah. but uh, but you know what I love most about your answer is it, Miami and Sunny Isles Beach were secondary to their choice of buying in South Florida their first yes. choice was the property right and it just happened to be that the property was located correct in Sunny Isles Beach correct. Miami correct so what is it? What is it about the property or properties in general? What are the key, like, and I think you, you had a great way to describe it, which was knowing your client's needs and the real home factor. Yeah. What is it about the client needs and the real home factors that, that's bringing them to, to Aqualina, let's say? Well, I, look, I, I think first of all, you have to deliver, as you said, real homes. We, we deliver something that, a, it's not just a, be, a, a place on the beach. It's a, it's, it's a real home and if people choose to make this their primary home, they can do so. Many of our customers over time become permanent residents as opposed to part-time residents. And we're obviously seeing more and more of this from the New York and uh, California areas sure. and so on. Uh, so we start with building real homes and then we build luxury into everything we do. You know, it's... Uh, uh, we use a, a phrase in guiding our, our design, art, architecture, and lifestyle. Okay. And, uh, you know, wherever you look, we, we try and focus on making beautiful, uh, providing great amenities, providing enough in terms of amenities that people never have to leave Aquilina. The, uh, in terms of if you take, for instance, food, you know, which is a major amenity for sure. people. You know, we provide several. Once the estates is built, there will be seven different locations that people can eat. Okay. And, uh, you know, with different varieties of food. So they never need leave Aquilina should they so desire. Uh, so that's a wonderful amenity. The beach, of course, and the waterfront activities are great amenities. There are interesting people here. We have the most interesting people in the world living here. And, you know, interacting with them frequently, it's uh, very, very important to us. So as long as you make this ultra high net worth individual feel like it's a home and right. that they're coming home, not just a vacation property. Right, exactly. Give them the amenities that they never have to leave. Right. And, and give them an experience unlike any other when it comes to customer right. service. Look, the hotel, you know, we're rated number one hotel on the beach in America by TripAdvisor. And we've had this rating four years running. It's amazing. It's a huge, you know, there's thousands and thousands of hotels on the beach in America. So a lot of this is due to the first class service we sure. give. And uh, people in the resort, uh, people living in the, in the residences 
all experience exactly that. We have the same management. It's uh, the person you met a few minutes ago. He runs the mansions, but he works here in, in, in the hotel. You know, it's, it's all interchangeable. And uh, so people experience a really great service. And for wealthy people, this is what they want. That's right. So they pay extra for that service. Uh, you know, it's all in, the, in, in what they're buying. Sure. They, it's all, look, you know, one of the things we do try and do is great value. You know, if you look at the value we provide, the finishes that we provide, the amenities we provide, you know, they're not really paying extra. Yeah. It's all wrapped in, but, uh, you know, we want to see uh, that we get the business. Yeah. Well, luckily we're under umbrella, so we're, we're good here. Talk to me about my, when you went from developing Avent Williams Island to where we are now, what would you say, how has Miami developed, and would, if you were to give Miami an age, what age would you give it, in terms of its lifespan of where we are and how much more we have to go? You know, I, I'd like to answer a little differently, sure. Alex, if I may. No, that's true. I'd say Miami is a mindset. It's more of a mindset than a particular age. Okay. You know, it. it's, uh, and, and, and I think that's the, the answer to it. That's right. So let's do a little lightning round action. Um, one is, and I think you may have touched upon it already, we talked a lot about the different awards that, that has been won here at Aqualina. Now we're starting to get wet. We may need to get an umbrella here. But, and I love it. This is what happens when you go live. But it, it is, that is Aqualina... Another umbrella, please. Yeah, we may need a couple of umbrellas. Would you say that... I love this, but this is this may go viral, Jules. We may go viral with this. Would you say... Bring my iPhone. I left it I on the table. You. Thank you. Would you say that the award of being ranked the top hotel four years in a row, Beachfront Hotel in the United States by TripAdvisor, would you say that's the best award you've that's won? That's by far. That's by, it's number one. It's, uh, and TripAdvisor is by far the most credible judge yeah. of because it's thousands and thousands of people all saying that... Uh, we achieved it. <laughs> so we decided to go live. We were going to pre-record, <laughs> and here we are with a little rain. Talk to me about fear. What's the biggest fear that you have? You know, if I can use a different word, frustration. If I okay. can talk sure. about Absolutely. what's my biggest frustration. You know, I think we're curious people. We want to know what people want and so on. One of my biggest frustration is brokers who don't take advantage of understanding the full market. Sure where they pigeonhole themselves into a particular part of the market, be it Brickle, be it uh, Bell Harbor, and whatever, and they pigeonhole themselves and limit themselves. So why don't you move over a little bit since you're getting soaked here. We're going to adjust our camera, or our position here, because we are getting a little wet, but go ahead. <laughs> okay. Where they pigeonhole themselves and they don't expose their customers to all that yeah. Miami has to offer. And, you know, we encourage our customers who come here to see other places so that they can compare. And I think it behooves the brokers to do that. By the way, when I spoke earlier of who are our customers, we define two groups of customers. Sure. One is the brokers who are critical to our business. And we really make a big deal out of making the brokers uh, feel great Providing them a, a position. Why don't we? Why don't we switch? Because he's getting. No, the, I'm doing you know, okay. That, that I'm doing great. okay. We'll finish in a minute. No, that's okay. Here you go. Why don't you cover <laughs> yourself there, and that, that way you're protected. Uh, and now we have more red umbrellas in the shot. No, you know, one of one of our the major things we do is provide the brokers with all kinds of facilities so that we will allow them to you to they can bring their customers to dine in our facilities to sit on our beach, sure. including in the good weather, not just in the yeah. bad weather, and uh, really enjoy the facilities. So one of the advantages broker, brokers have here is people can really sense what they're getting. And I think it's a big advantage for the brokerage community. So we need to get more brokers to Sunny Isles and Aqualina. In we sure do. I'm good, thank you, sir. We no, sure do. Here just in case. Sure, you got it. We're wrapping up now in and a couple And we will minutes. make them feel most welcome. Now, talk to me about, uh, one of the questions I love the most is something we'd be surprised to know about you. So, and I ask this to a lot of my guests, what's something we'd be surprised Well, about? I guess you were surprised, yeah, all the time. I was surprised. But, uh, you know, I look, I enjoy uh, this living here very sure. much. I take advantage of, you know, the, for instance, uh, pa uh, stand up paddling. Oh, and, awesome. you know, that's a great sure. sport for me. Boxing here is uh, great. We have great gym and so on. So, uh, you know, I, I try and keep very active in uh, and take advantage of 
all that the resort has to offer. Sure. Last question, and then we can try to get a little dry under the umbrellas. If you had a book, podcast, or TED Talk recommendation for the audience, which one would it be? You know, I, I listen to so many podcasts, sure. but I love podcasts, and particularly when exercising, it's a, okay. it's a great thing to do. Is there, one, is there do. one that stands out for you? Uh, I also like listening to books on tape. Okay. And, uh, you know, many of the books that talk about how people think, where the world is going, uh, that's the sort of thing that I enjoy there listening to. Jules, thank you so much thank for your you, time. Alex. Thank you, Alex. I'm going to go behind the camera and turn it off. We got a little wet. This is what happens when you go live and you go outside. I love it. Thank you. This is the enjoy talking to you, Alex. Thank you, Jules. Thank Any you parting words before I turn off the camera? Thank you, and all the best to the community. There you go.